fundamental tool of the chemist, at least from the theoretical standpoint, is the periodic table. Created in 1869 by Russian chemist Dmitry Mendeleev, the periodic table lists the smallest units of physical matter, elements, in a table organized by the physical and chemical properties of those elements. These properties tend to repeat themselves when the elements are listed, thus creating periods of properties which follow a given pattern. The widely used Mendeleev periodic table of today lists elements linearly by increasing atomic number and starts a new row every time the valence shell of an atom is fully filled. For this reason, each column in the table denotes a different number of valence electrons for that element. The properties of each element follow closely with the amount of valence electrons the element has, so the table nicely organizes each element so that it is below and above elements with similar characteristics and next to elements with one more or one less valence electron in their valence shells. These particular characteristics were chosen for the table because they are generally considered the most important. However, there are examples of alternate periodic tables which attempt to emphasize different characteristics or methods of organization of the elements. The most popular alternate periodic table is Charles Janet's Left Step Periodic Table. Created in 1928, the table chooses to emphasize the relative orbitals that are filled and the order in which they are filled. The red columns are the elements where the outermost electron is in the S block, yellow elements have the outermost electron in the P block, and so on. This allows for an easy graphical depiction of the filling of the valence shell as well. First the 1s orbital is filled, then the 2s, then the 2p, then the 3s, and so on. This matches with the way the elements are listed from right to left across the first three rows of the table. Another periodic table is Theodore Benfrey's 1964 edition, the two-dimensional spiral. As the name suggests, this table is arranged in a spiral pattern, which seeks to more visually depict the patterns or periods of characteristics that the elements create. Rather than awkwardly separating the elements from one another, this table has a spiraling flow which shows that there isn't really much of a divide from the noble gases to the alkali metals. The table conserves all of the columns and rows of the original periodic table, but wraps them around to form a more visually appealing shape. The next alternate periodic table is Timothy Stowe's three-dimensional periodic table. This table seeks to add even more complexity to the original by listing the elements by the principal quantum numbers instead of just the atomic number. The three axes represent the numbers of n, l, and m sub l. This creates a series of diamond-shaped tables ordered above and below one another. The columns of the original periodic table are also conserved here, since the column, each column on the z-axis of Stowe's table is equal to one on the y-axis of Mendeleev's table. The last alternate table of note is the ADOMAH table. This table seeks to one-up Stowe's table by using all four quantum numbers as axes. The table would therefore have a four-dimensional base if perfectly recreated. This table also shares some properties with the left step table, as if it is flattened up into two dimensions, blocks for the s, p, d, and f orbitals emerge. This table focuses mostly on valence electrons to such an extent that most other properties are not especially well portrayed. While this table might have an interesting novelty, it is not worth much to the chemist who lives only in three dimensions. Alternate periodic tables can give new insight into the elements and the relationships between them. In science, it is always useful to reevaluate and reimagine established ideas and to continue to test knowledge on basic concepts so that the new information can be cataloged in the future. So next time you're doing chemistry homework, why not give another periodic table a spin? Mm -hmm.